happy French Friday to you. Okay, so first of all, before we get started, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry I haven't gotten back to any of you uh, on your comments that you left for me from last week's video, but I promise you that I will get back to you. Uh, things have just been super crazy busy around here. And uh, last weekend we went out of town for Father's Day weekend and when we got back into town, we've had three house showings this week. And then we also had an outing for my husband's work to go to where all the spouses were invited to come along. And that was a lot of fun though. It was the, we went to the Global Wildlife Center here in Louisiana. And if you are, uh, if you are from Louisiana, I can highly recommend that you go there. It was so much fun. We went on a safari ride and we were able to feed the animals along the way. And so if you're interested, I will probably share a few little uh, pictures at the end of this video if you want to see uh, some of those. So uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, a little more chit chat before we get started here. And I should have mentioned this uh, before I did last week's video and going mi minimalistic with our home decor in the living room. And I'm going to go ahead and mention it this week uh, before this week's video because I'll be working and doing the same thing but in the kitchen this week. So I just wanted to say that, um, say this because some of you may be newer to my channel and you don't realize that we had our home for sale before we listed it with the realtor. And the ones that uh, have are not new to my channel know that we had our home for sale by owner previous to before we listed the home with our realtor. So anyway, I thought I would mention that when we had our home for sale by owner, which I think some people are afraid of for sale by owner, so you don't get as many showings um, as you would when you list with a realtor. So some people aren't comfortable with that. And um, I understand that. And a lot of people would bring a realtor in and we were okay with that, with um, a realtor bringing in um, their clients and showing them our home. And some of the feedback that I got um, from that was that we did have too much home decor and that uh, the people couldn't visualize their things in our home because of that. Uh, it was too full. Um, too much home decor and then the personal items as well. So when we got that feedback from our realtor that we needed to uh, depersonalize the home and store those things away and then um, also go minimal with the decor and basically stage our home, I, would, I had a hard time with that because you know, you all know I love to decorate. And it's hard when you're uh, doing decorating type videos and home tours and that sort of thing to do that. But uh, it is necessary, I think, for us to do this so that we can hopefully sell our home uh, fairly um, quick and uh, be able to uh, move on with our next adventure. And so our next adventure will be to downsize a little bit we have a daughter who is in France and she's studying abroad and working as an au pair there. And we also have our oldest son who is uh, going to be uh, going off to college soon. He has been doing online college, but plans to uh, go off to college very soon as well. And then our youngest son is just turned 14 this month. So he will be our only one left at home and uh whew, okay sorry didn't mean to didn't think that would happen but uh, i'm gonna try not to get emotional <laughs> so uh anyway we will downsize a little bit that's our plan and also we just don't we don't need all this space in this house we have a a five bedroom house with a, a large bonus room and uh, it's a pretty good sized house that we just won't need all the space and we plan on um, if we can't find exactly what we're looking for then uh, we may we may decide to build what we want a custom home or we may do a fixer upper. Uh, we're open to that idea as well. So who knows what 
what the future holds uh, or what we will find, but uh, we are excited and, um, and we'll be excited to share this new adventure with you as well. I have to tell you, our last home I sold for sale by owner and it sold very quickly to the second couple that I showed the house to. And I had it completely decorated with all my goodies and they absolutely loved it. So I think it just depends, you know, some people can visualize things and some people cannot. And that is why we are doing what we're doing because a lot of people out there cannot visualize things uh, like some people can. And we sold our home though, like I said, to the second couple who looked at it and they absolutely loved the house and the decor and everything. And um, they knew they wanted it right away. They were cash buyers and they had wanted to live on our exact same street for 20 years. That's where they wanted to retire. And they were so excited when they saw our home come up for sale. So I just wanted to let you know that sometimes the for sale by owners do work out wonderful. We had a wonderful experience. We absolutely loved them. They were the sweetest couple and they were so patient with us and said, if you cannot find anything that you love in Louisiana, just take your time and you know, we want you to find what you really want down there. So they were just so sweet. They said, you could stay in the house, don't worry about it. We were having a difficult time finding exactly what we were looking for. And so it did take some time and we were unfamiliar with the area. So we wanted to uh, get to know the different areas and figure out where exactly we wanted to be. So it just took uh, some time because of our house selling so quickly, we didn't have a lot of time to find something down here. But like I said, they were just so sweet and patient with us and we couldn't have asked for better buyers uh, on our last home that we'd sold in uh, South Carolina. And in fact, the, the couple had inherited another home out of state and they still had their home that they lived in and uh, they still wanted our house uh, and uh, everything just went so smoothly. They were just God sent. And um, for some reason, our home here is not selling for sale by owner for, for whatever reason. And I think maybe some people, like I said earlier, are, are not comfortable with for sale by owner. So uh, just so that we can sell our home quicker and get it advertised out there uh, to more people uh, that our home is for sale. This is um, what we have to do for now. And unfortunately, um, I would have liked to have just kept all my things in the house and not worried about uh, taking uh, all our personal items out of the home and uh, going minimalism throughout the home and all of that. But uh, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So. <laughs> We've got to do this uh, to appease our realtor. And then of course, uh, the people who cannot visualize and, um, and with the feedback that we've gotten, we just feel that this is something we have to do. These are the steps we need to take now to get more aggressive about selling our home. And especially now while um, it's summertime, I think um, is when houses do sell. Uh, a little bit quicker when kids are out of school and things like that. So wish us luck and I hope that you will bear with me. I know that uh, it may not be as fun my videos uh, because I won't be doing the, you know, more, the decorating type videos or maybe I won't be able to do home tours. We'll see. Uh, but I hope that you will bear with me and I will just have to get really creative in the different type of videos that I will be doing. Uh, in the future until our home is sold. So uh, thank you so much and let's go ahead and get into the video now and work on that kitchen.